Wilson here at, I forgot where I was at, the honest place, I forgot where I was for a second, with Earth. 
Uh, uh, now give us your names, ages, and what instrument you play. Uh, I'm Chris Thomas, guitar. Uh, oh, I'm 19. I forgot there for a second. Hi, Gimme. Hi, hi. I'm Robert Holt, and I play bass, and I'm 19. Oh, I'm Robert Knott, and uh, I play drums, and I'm 19. I'm Mo, I play a little guitar, and I sing, and I'm 19. <laughs> Alright. What is it? What is the history of the band? Well, okay, um, since Chris is busy, he's usually the one that talks. Um, basically, we kind of knew each other in, in school, and uh, me and him were with another band, and that didn't work out. So uh, me and got together and brought him into it. And we wanted to, we wanted to do something that was different, because we were sick of all the you know death bands and all the you know, go out and kill people and murdering and Satan and all that stuff. So we, uh, we decided to write about different things, you know, but that's about how we got together. Um, where did you get the band's name from? Well, um, Chris really th thought that and, um, see, we all grew up in Lake Highlands, and, uh, <laughs> that's the way we were, we were, uh, you know, like, thought of when we were in Lake Highlands, as, you know, the scum... Yeah, it's really, really trendy, rich neighborhood, and it's like, so they thought we were all scum of the earth, so that's, you know, if you're going to put a label on us, you might as well that one. What are all your musical influences? Oh, uh, McLaughlin and Demiola, uh, and like, you know, Pat Metheny, and, uh, uh, you know, the list goes on and on, man. Well... Yeah, COC, DRI, Bad Brains, Hardcore Metal. Yeah. And a bit, anything with a bit of musicianship and a bit of integrity. We've got some friends tonight, Insecticide from Los Angeles. And we'd like to uh, promote the Honest Place, which is on 3014 Commerce, 748-7554. Rich, 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 ah! Oh, and, uh... Anyway, uh, you know, basically what this is like, we're trying to get all the stuff about all this judgmental stuff. Anyways, because most of you know most of his lyrics match the songs, and he wrote the music for for all the songs. Uh, yeah, we want. Or if you want to, uh, it's been a friend. Watch for them soon. They're really hot. It's like a combination of. I just really rages on guitar. It's not you know if you're gonna be all. Ooh, I want to hear some Slayer. God, I mean, sorry, excuse me. Then you know you're not if you're not gonna have an open mind to them, you know. Then you probably won't like them. But you know if you're into musicianship and you know meaningful music. Oh, thanks, man. oh you're welcome. Uh, y'all y'all wanna go see Deadly Force? What are your song? What are your lyrics and songs about? Well, basically, you know, like I said before, we don't like to write about you know death and going out and killing people because nobody really does that, you know. And like we talk, we're, basically we talk about you know anti-prejudice. Uh, yeah, it's about child abuse and a song called Colorblind, which is against prejudice, and uh, Hypocristian, which is which is about people that that say that you know if if you if you pray for Jesus then you'll be. Saved. Because they're hypocrites. 
Massachusetts. Next question. So this is the debut of the Scums, of the Scums Live. Are you going to be doing a demo tape? Well, problem is... <laughs> but, um, yeah, we're trying to do a demo, but it's, it, you know, it'll be a little while before we get it done because we take a lot of songs because we really, really are to that quality. Mm. Okay, next to your band on the flyer, there's a peace symbol. Does this sort of, uh, like, peace between races or world peace? Well, well, you know. Basically, we just want to live and be left alone, and we leave other people alone. And you know, basically, you know, that's the way it should be. You should just leave people alone and let them live their lives. If they start messing with you, then that's a different story. But you know, that's basically the idea of peace. Chris, you did Harsh Realm. Chris, you did Harsh Realm. Uh, what kind of experience did you get working at a radio station? Okay, uh, okay, I don't have anything against Kano Win, but um, uh, I was apparently were voted uh, best uh, listen to a radio show or something by some kind of poll that was taken by teenagers by the Dallas Morning News or something. And, uh, you know, if, if you'll remember, they were broadcasting at 10,000 watts and they had a 100,000 watt license. I can remember uh, old Reverend, whatever his name is, that came on at 4 o'clock after us would come in there. Uh, He's all, <laughs> now, 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 folks, uh, you know, talking about all this Christ stuff, and he's sitting there with uh, drinking a vodka, you know, whatever they call, <laughs> vodka and orange juice at 4 o'clock in the morning. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay, I'm, I don't drink. Sorry. Oh, skinhead. <laughs> White power. <laughs> <laughs> we'll leave him alone for a little while. Um, do you have any closing words for our viewers? Yeah, well, come down to see us whenever you whenever you hear of us playing. By the time you see this, we will have played tonight at the Honest Place and tomorrow at the Pagan Festival, and then we're playing San Antonio on Sunday. Insecticide, our friends from L.A. Ah! Our friends! Our friends! Nobody no, no, no. else! There are! And um, Tyrannicide from San Francisco are a great bunch of guys. And and uh, Devastation from Corpus Christi, who will probably be playing something up here. Hey, Sherman! Hey, hey, hey. hey Sherman! What are uh, some of the Earth's plans for the future? Um, we just plan to get as close as we can to like our music. We're not really interested in making a whole lot of money. We don't, you know, as, as long as we have enough money to make it, you know, we don't really care about getting cars and stuff, but you can't, you can't expect that in hardcore at all. You just gotta expect to be able to go to the next gig and eat. That's about it. Okay, this is was Laurel Wilson at the Honest Place.